Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular problem, I'd like you to go ahead and get your calculator. Now, if some of you out there that uh, have been watching some of my previous videos uh, or are a subscriber, first of all, I want to thank you very much. And uh, second of all, you probably know I do a lot of videos that says no calculator allowed. Okay, I really want you to practice working without a calculator, but uh, there are definitely times in mathematics, matter of fact, quite frequently, in especially more advanced math, that you need to use your calculator, and here is a perfect situation. So what we want to do here is evaluate this variable expression, m minus n squared over p cubed, for these respective values for those variables. So with the aid of a calculator, now if you really want to be a math hero, of course you could put your uh, calculator away. You can certainly figure this out without a calculator, but uh, there is no need to. What I really want to do here is to make sure you understand how to properly evaluate a variable expression. And also some of you might be a little bit confused on how to um, uh, take powers in your calculator, but we'll talk about all that in a second. So if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, we're going to, we're going to walk through this problem step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the answer here. So uh, I'll, I'll hold off on uh, describing what you need to do. Again, the directions is to evaluate this expression for these values. And if you did this correctly, you would get this answer right here, negative uh, 8240. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, if you got this right, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, you definitely earned a nice little happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a few stars. You can tell your friends and family that you know exactly, precisely how to evaluate a variable expression, especially using your calculator. Now, before we get into the, pro, uh, the actual solution here, let me just talk a bit of, about calculators, okay? Calculators are tremendously important in mathematics for obvious reasons. And uh, depending on what level of math you're in, you're going to need different type of calculators. Let's kind of break this up this way. So here's like your elementary school, uh, middle school, high school, and I'll say even kind of college, right? So here, high school and college kind of could be the same thing, but middle school is a little bit different. And then of course we have elementary or primary school. So just uh, very briefly, um, for those of you out there that might be parents of somebody in elementary school, you, the teachers are going to tell you what type of calculator uh, you know, those students need. But basically, you just should just need a very basic uh, calculator, things with just the basic math operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, that kind of thing. A real, real super basic type of calculator. And quite frankly, um, it's likely that uh, most students at this level may or may not even be kind of really uh, using uh, calculators all that frequently. This is the time where you really need to develop arithmetic skills. All right, let's talk about uh, middle school. Now this is where things definitely change in here. In middle school, sixth, seventh, eighth grade, ninth grade maybe, uh, you're going to be looking at scientific calculators, all right? Scientific calculators. Uh, let me see here. I think uh, TI-80, not, not TI-84, TI-30, I believe, is one. Or uh, There's different versions. But a scientific calculator has all the different uh, um, operations. It's certainly much more advanced. You'll tell. You can definitely tell it's much more advanced than a basic calculator. It has like logarithms, uh, LOG, uh, trigonometric functions and stuff. But what it does not have, a scientific uh, calculator, will not have a graph on it. It won't have a screen so you can see graphs, okay? And these type of calculators right here are not all that expensive, maybe $20, something like in this range. These are very, very uh, cheap as well. Okay, so very uh, quickly, let's talk about when you get into high school, and I'm talking about more advanced math, probably starting like an algebra two, certainly at the pre-calculus level, you're going to need to upgrade your game into a graphing calculator, something like a TI-84, um, 83, 
any of these uh, work. I have TI-83 calculators that are 20 years old that are still awesome. Uh, but these guys right here, they're more expensive. You're looking at spending over $100. And they will serve you uh, well in uh, university work as well, college. Okay? So if you're kind of like deciding that, hey, I want to be an engineer or you know do something technical and you're a junior and senior in high school, then kind of think forward a little bit and get yourself a really upgraded calculator. Okay, I will say this much. These expensive calculators, you got to really uh, be careful where you leave them. Unfortunately, you know, as somebody who's been teaching math for decades, uh, I know it's going to shock you when I tell you, but people actually take other people's calculators. So guard your personal property. It's your property. But uh, anyways, that's just a quick uh, thing on calculators. But as you progress, you need to understand um, how to use these calculators. And they are... You know, there is a lot of functions going on here. Anyways, let's move forward. Sorry to bombard you with this extra stuff about calculators, but uh, let's get into the problem. All right, so what we want to do is evaluate this variable expression. Uh, let me say that again, okay? E uh, variable expression. We're expressing something just like a sentence in English. You know, if you want to express yourself, you would write a song or a poem or maybe write a little, you know, uh, note to someone, right? Same thing in mathematics. Here we're trying to express something, and we're expressing it with variables, variable expression. But we need to understand this word right here, evaluate, okay? So in mathematics and in algebra, when you hear the word evaluate, what it means is the variables involved, you're going to have specific assigned uh, numeric values, okay? Of course, these can always change the values here, but you'll be given specific values for these variables. In this case, m is equal to 2, uh, n here will uh, let equal to 3.2, and then p is going to equal to 0.1. So all you do when you evaluate a variable expression in algebra is simply replace these respective variables with these values and then just do all the number crunching using your calculator. Okay. Now, before you get going, and just start doing a bunch of busy work, what you want to do uh, is, and this is really important, is plug in the values. Okay, here's the expression. And then you're basically going to plug in each of these variables here. You're going to replace these variables with the respective values. But I'm going to strongly suggest that you get used to using parentheses. Okay, so use parentheses, plug in these values. So M is 2, so put parentheses 2 minus N is 3.2, parentheses 3.2, M parentheses squared, and then P is 0.1, parentheses 0.1, all that uh, cubed, right? P cubed. Now, before you start, okay, double check your work. Go like, look at the expression, look at what you did, look at the expression, look at the values. Don't do anything, because I've seen this thousands of thousands, tens of thousands of times where students are like, oh, they're great. They'll plug in uh, the wrong values, they'll, and they'll do something wrong right here by plugging in. Uh, the wrong values, and then the rest of this math is beautiful. However, they did the wrong problem because they had the values wrong. So don't start doing anything before you, you're really, really sure that you have the correct values. Okay, so now that you feel good about that, let's talk about what to do next. So here we have 2 minus 3.2 squared over 0.1 cubed. What we got is a big fraction right here, right? So we have a numerator and a denominator. So you want to kind of break these up separately. So let's focus first on simplifying the numerator. Of course, we'll get a value for that. And then we'll figure out what the denominator is. We'll get that value. And then finally, lastly, we'll go ahead and divide those two values. So let's go ahead and work on the numerator right now. All right, so here's our problem. And as I just said, we're going to focus in on this part of the problem. So that's 2 minus uh, 3.2 squared. All right, so 3.2 squared. Remember what you have to do. Uh, we are keeping in mind the order of operation, PEMDAS, all this real basic stuff. By the way, if any of this stuff kind of like troubles you, if you're like, I need more help, I have way more additional videos on my YouTube channel. Plus, I would strongly suggest checking out something like my pre-algebra or Algebra 1 course to help you out with this much, much further. Okay, so here, what do we have to do first? Well, we have to figure out the powers. So 3.2 squared. Now, this could be pretty easy for a lot of you if you didn't know how to use your calculator, because all you have to do is go 3.2 times 3.2. That's not the way you want to do this with your calculator, okay? So you want to challenge yourself. Make sure you understand 
you're using the proper functions on your calculator. So let's talk about how to evaluate or how to calculate 3.2 squared. So on your calculator, you'll have some button generally like this, like an X squared button, or maybe it's like a Y squared button. Another very common button, button excuse me, is this upside down thing uh, symbol right here. Um, that's called a carrot, okay? So figure out which one calculates the power. You, sometimes you'll have a dedicated button for squares, not for um, uh, like cubes, okay? But it's oftentimes it's very common to have a dedicated button for squares. So you can hit like 3.2, for example, and then find that X squared button and get the right answer. Now, if you don't have that button, you would go 3.2, hit this button like that. That brings up my exponent. Uh, so I would type in two, okay, then hit enter. So make sure you understand the calculator that you're using, all right? So you don't, you're not trying to uh, stumble on this when you're in the middle of a test or quiz. All right, so anyways, um, uh, when you do this though, 3.2 squared, you're gonna end up with 10.24. So we have 10 minus 10.24. Now you can go right into your calculator as you should, but you got to be very careful here, okay? Because you here you have 10.24. You might be thinking, I'll subtract two from it. You got to be very careful and notice that what you have here is a negative value. This is like two minus 10, which is the same thing as two plus negative 10. It's going to be like negative eight, right? So if you want to clear your calculator and go two minus 2.24, just make sure that you understand you're going to get a negative value, all right? So got to be very, very careful here. All right, so this is our numerator, and now let's move on to our denominator. So our denominator is uh, 0.1 cubed. All right, so as I uh, talked about previously, uh, on your calculator, if you have at least a scientific calculator, you probably are going to have this little, what we call carrot key. So to figure this out, it would be 0.1. You hit this button right there, carrot key, and then you bring up your exponent three and then hit equal sign. And if you do this correctly, you'll get 0 0.001. Okay, so that is our denominator. And now let's put this thing all together. So we did all of this number crunching. We got negative 8.24 and 0.1 cubed. We got 0 0.001. So I notice right here, I'm gonna have a negative divided by a positive, so my final answer is gonna be negative. So when I go uh, negative 8.24 uh, 8 divided by 0 0.001 in my calculator, you end up with a negative 8240. Okay, so hopefully this wasn't too difficult. Uh, matter of fact, this should be quite easy for most of you. This is actually not that um, complicated of a variable expression. You can definitely be working with much more challenging variable expressions, but the deal is this, okay? Don't just assume, I mean, we're all great working with our cell phones, right? Like, oh, I could pick up my phone, I could do this, this, and that. You know, you'll probably know, you know, 100 times more about your uh, phone than you, than you do about the calculator you need to uh, use in your math course, okay? Especially if you're taking like a high school level math class. So get to know your calculator, take notes, and if you get confused on anything, you can always research uh, online. Of course, you can find everything on the internet when it comes to pretty much anything. So again, just don't you know um, assume you know what button to push. You know you got to practice, practice, practice. And of course, it is obviously important to practice with your calculator. Okay. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.